New Tool Day Tuesday, where I share with you guys unique or useful tools that I myself use that I think you might be interested in. Now, you may be thinking to yourself that this is just a standard pair of tongue and groove pliers, and I assure you it is not. Now, I have to fully admit that it does look like a pair of Kinepex wrench pliers. Now, today's video is going to be a little bit different. We are going to be talking about useful tools, but I want to do a showdown between these two. The pair on the left is actually the Kinepex wrench pliers. They are extremely good pliers. I did a video. I will put a link right there about these guys. They have a lot of love for them, and a lot of viewers said that they cost too much. That was pretty much the only complaint I could find was the cost. A 10-inch set of Kinepix wrench pliers cost about $60 at the time of this video. The Irwin pliers on the right come in at $28, so a little more than half the cost of the Kinepix. But what are the differences, and is it worth the cost to buy the Kinepix, or will the Irwin pliers do a good job as well? Let's take a look at them. I do have some pros and cons that I noticed right off the bat. Some are good, some are bad, but I actually think they're a pretty good set of pliers and half the cost. I'm going to be referring a little bit to the original video I did on how these Kinepix pliers operate and what makes them so special. If you haven't seen that video, I really encourage you to go back and watch it. I will put a link right here. But when we talked about how these operated in that video, we discussed that you don't have to squeeze the handles together to get it to clamp onto a nut or bolt and hold really well. In fact, you can just hold on to the outside handles only, even the Irwins work this way, and the more you tighten down, the more they clamp onto the nut. They will not slip, which is what makes them a great replacement for a tool like this. Now, because of the mechanism and the way it pivots right here, when you open these up, you really only get less than a half inch movement on the jaws, but you have about three and a half to four inches of movement out here on the end. That gives you an incredible amount of leverage that a standard pair of channel locks just will not give you. But the question in everybody's minds are, will these do the same job as the Kinepex? And I have to say, I think they will. Are they built the same? Well, they are a little bit different. The Kinepix have a pretty tiny button here. They have the teeth on the inside of the channel and you press down on that button to be able to slide the teeth up and down. Once you release that button, they lock into position and they won't slide anymore and you're ready to use them. So you have to kind of pre-adjust them to the size that you need and then you're good to go. You use them, they work really well. The Irwins have kind of a little different design. It has teeth along the back side and it has a bigger button. Actually, it's a really nice size button. It's easy to press and it lets you slide it up and down as well. But they also ratchet. So if you had them all the way open and you wanted to clamp them on a nut, instead of having to push the button and slide it, you can just shove up on it lock them in place and you're ready to use it. So that is one feature that I actually like better with the Irwins than the Kinepex. Both of these are 10 inch models and they kind of pretty much operate exactly the same way. They're both roughly about the same weight and they're both roughly about the same thickness. The Kinepex does have measurements written on the inside and the Irwin vice grips do not. As far as springiness in the handles when they're clamped tight, well, they feel about the same. They have a little bit of spring to them. As far as fit and finish, the Kinepex seem to be a little more polished. They're just a little bit nicer. That does doesn't mean that the vice grips have any problems with them. They're okay. There's nothing really wrong with them. But you're also looking at half the cost, $60 versus $28. Now the Kinepix seems to have a better hold on the nut and that's because if I put this nut in the jaws and I tighten the handles down, I can't pivot the nut at all. It seems to have equal pressure on these two sides. The vice grips, no matter how hard I squeeze them, I can still pivot the nut. So that means they're not exactly parallel. Is this gonna be a problem in the field? Probably not, but it is something to consider when you're purchasing these. So what are my final thoughts on the Irwin version of these pliers? Well, I think they're pretty good. I think they're fine. For $28 and half the cost of Kinepex, I think it's worth a try. So if you're looking for a better deal than the Kinepex, by all means, go ahead and buy yourself a set. If you like these types of videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. Take a look at some of my other videos, and at the very least, you might be entertained.